Now, sons are grateful house provided for 82-year-old mom. The sons of 82-year-old Catherine Miller are thrilled that their mother has received a furnished two-bedroom concrete house worth $10 million from the government, something they could not have done themselves. Miller has for years lived in a board house that was badly in need of repairs. Her younger son, Nigel Samuel, said they had to use tarpaulin to cover the roof of the old house in order to shelter their mother from the elements. His brother, Euron Brackett, had similar views. According to Brackett, the family did not have much financially when he was a child, and as such, he started working at a young age and was unable to attend school regularly. The house that Miller received, equipped with a solar electricity system and solar water, Water Heater was one of 200 over by Prime Minister Andrew Holness and Minister of Local Government and Community Development Desmond Mackenzie in the community on Chambers Pen a few weeks earlier. The other is a 6 million studio unit delivered to Carlton Kent. The first house was delivered in the area in 2023 and two others are under construction. Mackenzie stressed that the Poor Relief Department of Hanover Municipal Corporation retains the right to monitor and ensure ensured that the structures remain intact. Mackenzie promised the gathering at the gathering that he would continue to work with them to improve conditions in the Chambers Pen area. For his part, Holness said he was happy to see the development taking place in the community under the government's rural development program. The government has spent over $340 million on repairing the roads, and I see work is still ongoing, including some supporting infrastructures, repairs to bridges, and putting in water mains. I see that some rural elect electrification is taking place. I haven't visited the school as yet, but I hear Minister Mackenzie has said that this school has been repaired, and now we are here to hand over two houses to indigent members of the community, the Prime Minister said. Councillor for the Riverside Division, Baron Barnes, paid homage to his political opponents for the improvements made in his division. It is a pleasure of mine to thank the hard-working Minister Desmond Mackenzie, and I think it could not happen without the Prime Minister. So I want to thank you because the first time that we sat down with Tamika Davis Hanover, Western Member of Parliament and Tova Trench Anderson, Social Development Commission Parish Manager, we worked out the logistics about Chambers, Penn and the area. I am happy to know that this is my division. I am really proud of it, he said. Chambers, Penn is the pilot of the RDP, which is spearheaded by the Ministry of Local Government and Community Development in five parishes. The second project is currently being carried out in Cheswick St. Thomas. The RDP was introduced in 2021 and the Chambers Pen legs of the program was officially launched in June of 2022. Are you tired of browsing all over the latest happenings in Jamaica? Discover it right here on Jamaica News online TV YouTube channel. Foreigner home and you want to be in touch with the happenings in Jamaica? Guess what? You are in the right place. We bring you reactions to the latest news at 6 a.m., 12 noon, and straight up news at 6 p.m. Ask and you shall receive, guys. So if you are watching this video, like, subscribe, comment, or share, hit that subscribe button. And remember to comment below with your thoughts. Guys, make sure you come back again and again to watch our videos. Remember, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. We are always here to give you Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment down below.